Hey, what's up, you two? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome wooden starter, super awesome secret wooden, did I mention that? Treehouse. I really hope that you guys enjoy making this tutorial. If you do, please do remember to hit that like button because it really helps not only me, but poor Steve. The man doesn't have any luck. I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to help him out. Likes really do make him happy. But not only that, I will also show you the ins and outs of the base, the inside, all of the secrets and stuff at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. But without any further ado, let's get started. Before we begin building, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using, and in the amounts that we are going to be using them as well. Our super easy starter treehouse only requires about a 14 by a 15 block area to make. Feel free to make this grid in your world. It may help you plan out the build. Pause the video if you have to, make sure that you have everything ready, and once you are prepared, we can begin. Step 1 involves us coming to the front right hand corner of the grid. If you've not made the grid, don't worry, just wait one moment. Go left from the front right corner, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then move inwards by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is our starting position. On top of this block we are going to stack two oak fence. One, two. I want you to place a sideways facing oak stairs on top of the fence. An upside down oak stair coming across with a sideways fo facing oak stair on the opposite side. Place two oak fence to connect the oak stairs down to the ground like this. And then I want you to build rows of six oak wood coming backwards and up from the oak fence. That is rows of six like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I also want you to place one that comes out of the back, yet in between the two rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And equally, I want you to place a row of oak wood on top of the upside down stair that comes up and meets the other rows. Once you have done this, we are going to build a little bit of the treehouse. So, I want you to take specifically this oak block right here, and I want you to, in front of this, place two oak wood slabs. One, two. I want you to place right of this three oak wood planks. One, two, three. I then want you to place an additional oak wood slab. And it's important that we extend this slab backwards. In this case, by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can also extend the oak wood here backwards using your oak wood slabs to meet the other row. You can place oak planks between the oak slabs and then fill the base of the platform in using oak wood planks like this. You may choose to take certain blocks at the base of the platform, such as this one, this one, and this one, and you may want to remove them and change them to oak planks for a little bit of a better aesthetic. Once you have done this, we are going to take the front of the platform, specifically the front left side, and we're going to place three oak planks on top. One, two, three. Go right by four. One, two, three, four. And join down. I want you to place oak planks coming up the left side and the right here. I'm going to place glass in the middle. I'm also going to place a glass right at the top, above the oak planks, also above where the other glass is vertically. Place oak trapdoors left and right of the double window that we have towards the middle of the house. 
I want you to place an upside down spruce stair underneath the window and I want you to place spruce wood slabs underneath the trap doors like this. It just adds a little bit of flavour. You may also want to place, in anticipation, spruce wood planks next to the glass up above. This is slightly important as it will not grip onto the roof that we will be building. That will make more sense later. Once you have done this, I want you to extend the sides of the build backwards. So place rows of oakwood planks moving backwards like this, that are equal in height to the rows that we have at the front of the house, and they are simply being dragged back like that. We will be adding doors and windows and stuff later on. Come to the back of the house now. The back of the house is kind of important. So. On the back of the house, right in the middle, is going to be a doorway. It's equal in size to the window on the front. So we are going to place oakwood planks around where the door shall be. Like this. I also want to use some spruce wood slabs, because I don't think... Nope, we didn't bring any spruce planks with us, but that's completely fine. I'm going to mark out where... I am going to have a balcony coming out of the back of the house. The reason that there is a door here is because of a balcony. Place a spruce slab coming out of the back entrance and extend the slab across the side of the build here. Have it overhang and extend forwards by one, two. That should be pretty fine. I'm going, maybe even four. I'm going to turn these slabs into planks like this. And I'm going to place a trim of oakwood slabs around the spruce wood planks. Specifically around the top, leaving the other parts visible. Oak fence is going to be placed around the oak slabs like this, so that you can walk around and get a different perspective from your treehouse. I'm also going to install a window somewhere here on the left. It can be here or here, I'm, I'm just going to make a decision and say, why not have a double window here? Yeah, that looks perfectly fine. If you like, you can even customise by adding oak trap doors left and right. It depends how much detail you want to add. We already spoke about this, this is going to be a door. However, we do want to have a glass pane above where the door will be, with spruce wood slabs left and right of the glass pane. I feel as though that we can comfortably do the roof. The roof's quite easy. Place spruce wood slabs on the upper side of either the left or right side of the treehouse. Extend those slabs forward or backward so that they are overhanging the front or back of the build, and then you simply do this pattern. You extend the slab inwards, up, in, up, in, up. Once you reach the middle of the house where the glass is, you start going down. So you take this lower block, right, down, right, down, right. Very simple roof, but it's quickly becoming one of my favourites. And you might be able to see where the spruce wood planks come into play. You see they meld perfectly into the roof, and they give the glass something to grip onto. If we were to just place these slabs like we might have, then the glass wouldn't have anything to grip onto and it'd be a little bit weird and we would have been better off using some glass block. However, in this particular occasion we are perfectly fine in using the uh, planks or, or the slabs as you can see to make a couple of planks. Like this. So this is what we want to have so far and we're doing a pretty decent job. Well done by the way, we're, we're doing a really good job here. What we now want to do is we want to start thinking about this side of the house. You see, this side is very, very important. The reason it's so important is because we are going to have a an entrance, a staircase that will lead us up here. So, where is the entrance going to be on this side? Well, I can tell you, number one, I have a window here on this side, and I'm going to place glass pane inside of where I just destroyed. Small window. I'm leaving a gap of one, and then I'm going to destroy these two blocks, and this is where the door will be, just at the other side of the oak wood here. 
and I want to have a spruce wood stair that will climb us up into the entrance. And I want to, underneath the spruce wood stair that we have right here, I am going to place an oak plank. And I'm going to extend the oak plank to the left by three. So that's one, two, three. I'm going to double up on that row, like this, in front of it. And then I'm going to take these two end oak wood plank blocks, and I want to place oak wood stairs in front of them. Oak planks underneath. Stairs in front. Oak planks underneath. Stairs in front. Planks underneath. Hang on. And in anticipation, I'm also going to place, I think it'll be here. Uh, I'm going to place the stairs and then there. There we go. So, that's pretty decent. That's what we want to have so far. Now, I also want to place some spruce wood planks next to the oak wood stairs. Like this. So, only on the left side. I don't know why. I only wanted it on the left side. I want to have the spruce wood planks. And I'm going to extend the planks across and back. And I also want to connect to the tree. Like this. Or wherever it will connect. About here, really. And you can even fill that uh, those couple of blocks in if you like actually no you can't because you would have to use <laughs> you'd actually have to use a different material but you could if you wanted to kind of like place something next to uh, next to there and maybe even just not have it connect at all I'm going to place oak fence around the spruce wood slab area coming onto the plank and you can see it's quite a satisfying little staircase but what makes it even more satisfying is if you do this if you add some oak leaves, kind of like in front of this area here, kind of even connecting to the tree, maybe even extend this down a little bit, it looks quite good. It looks as though that we've got some leaves involved. We can do a similar thing as it comes to here. We can place some leaves like underneath and around the platform a little bit, if you so choose. So maybe something like this, right? That looks pretty good too. So it does look as though it is a tree house. You know, we've actually built it into a tree. I'm also going to now grab the doors. I am going to destroy inside of the tree here. And I'm going to place an oak plank. If you are interested in coming up and inside and being able to climb up into the house, you'll need some ladders, but that is completely up to you whether you want to actually utilize that. But what we do want to do is place a backwards oak door just in front of the little entrance at the bottom. Additionally, we want to have an oak door here on the left side of the treehouse and also back here coming out of the back of the treehouse. Those are three doors that we want to place. What else do we want to do? Well, it will actually be a lot easier for us if we didn't have all of these markings, but we'll deal with them whilst we can. So, I'm going to grab some of the other materials uh, that we have. So, I can see that we're going to need some shovels, we'll need a hoe, seeds, water, we'll need poppies. We're even going to use a little bit of hedge as well, and that might actually be it. So. I want to dig a grass path that leads from the entrance towards, somewhere towards where we have these double stairs here. So the path can be as jagged or as wonky or as handmade as you like. It doesn't really matter as long as there's some form of path that leads you from here to there. It's just to let people know that there are multiple options. Sometimes people need a little bit of guidance. I'm going to place some poppies here. I don't really want people, and I don't know why, by the way, this is all me. I don't want people really walking this way. So that's why I placed the poppies there, just as a bit of a boundary. It's not an actual boundary, but, you know, close enough. I'm going to place a series of leaves that starts probably about here, I would say. About here is good. And I'm going to have the leaves come back and around the house. I'm kind of creating somewhat of a circle like this right so kind of like uh, kind of like uh, a little bit of a semicircle kind of like a half moon like that it also reminds me of like wario slash mario's mustache <laughs> now 
I'm also going to have a similar thing, except I want to use some spruce wood slabs. So, towards the front here, I'm going to kind of start probably, where would I say? Probably about here. I kind of want to have like a circular spruce wood slab area that kind of just... Again, it's, it's just kind of like a false boundary. It's, it's not as if we're really hiding anything, but I like it when things are a little bit defined. You know, we've kind of got an area that we're working with. And that is why we're also going to uh, plant some seeds here as well. You can make the... Well, I don't want to make it that big. You can make the area as big or as small as you like. All of these blocks will recover it perfectly fine. But I'm, I'm thinking something like that. I don't want these extra two that I accidentally placed... And uh, keep kind of keeping with the circular theme, I'm going to also have a little moat back here that kind of just sits in between the uh, in between the hedge and the spruce wood slabs. And again, anybody can cross these boundaries, you know. It's not as if it's like a hard boundary with a wall or it's not going to stop any mobs or anything. But you can see it's kind of like a pleasing boundary. And it just keeps things where they're supposed to be, so to speak. So, I'll tell you what. Now that we have completed the house, and I'm, I'm quite happy with the house. Why don't I show you the original version of the house that will also include the interior. Just in case you were wondering what sort of space that we were going to be working with. So... Let's do it. Let's have a look at the original. So here we are at the original version of the starter, simple, super secret, awesome wooden tree house. As you can see, we have a very similar setup to the version that we just made. On the left, we can enter the tree house via this very alluring staircase. Or we can follow the path that is laid out before us and we can climb up into the tree house via this ladder. And once inside the treehouse, and by the way, both options are very viable. Once inside the treehouse, we have a double furnace, an armor stand with some very lovely gold armor. We have a chest containing weapons. We have a crafting table. We have a cabin bed, because I kind of love cabin beds. I had one as a kid, and I kind of wish I had one now. And not only that, but we do have a little bit more room for some more stuff. Not that we've utilized the space, and a little bit of a painting. However, we can come out of the back of the treehouse, and this is where I love secrets. I love little easter eggs hidden in houses, because if we, we come out of the back, we have a hidden away ender chest that is only really accessible. And you might only find it if you actually do explore the house. I love making people explore houses. It's, it really does add an extra level of fun. And of course, once we're done, we can come back into the house like this, make sure we close our doors, and we can come down the treehouse in the opposite way to as we came. So you don't really have to feel pressured to go in any way, you can kind of just do what you like. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button. Not only would it really help out Steve, the man, he, he just doesn't have any luck, but it'd really help out me too. If you like these sorts of builds, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make anything else by me, check out the card system and the description below. We make all sorts of different things, as you might just be able to tell just by in the background. We don't just make the same stuff all the time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all of you very, very much. I am now going to find a nice high place. Just about here should do to say goodbye, because I like to jump when I say goodbye. I don't know why. That also rhymed. Goodbye.